Hello. I'm um, sorry for the lighting issue. It's nighttime now. I recorded this video earlier and it refused to upload. So I'm recording it again. Um, Midweek kind of check in. I already checked in about Saturday and Sunday and Friday, so I will just let you know about Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday, I got to exercise. Yay! Um, haven't exercised since, and it's Wednesday evening at 6 30 something. Uh, food's going really well. Eating lots of fresh fruit and vegetables and lean meats and protein and all them goodies. Um, I've gotten in more water this week, so that's good. Um, still not doing good with the weekly points. I've only used two. I don't know why I can't seem to do that. I think I have like a mental block. <laughs> I'm afraid of my weekly points, which is ridiculous because I've used them and not gained weight and lost. So somebody kicked me. Really quickly, I just want to show you a few things that I picked up at Whole Foods Market today. Um, some of them are not necessarily low in points, and they weren't necessarily for me either, but just to give you guys maybe some ideas on something if you might be looking for something in this line, I will turn you around and show you what I got. I can't see you, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's see. What do I got here? I got these, actually I'm just going to hold you up like this, for my son. And they're called Home Free, they're gluten free oatmeal cookies. They are three points per. Um, let me kind of show you what they look like. I tasted one earlier because I opened them to pack some in his lunch. And they're not like some soft, squishy, delicious, you know, ooey gooey oatmeal cookie, but they are good. So they come two in a pack like that, and one of those. Um, which fits about like that in the palm of my hand, is three points. To me, it's not worth it. I wouldn't eat them. Um, but somebody who is kind of maybe is trying to stay gluten-free, um, or whatever, is maybe interested in those. I got some of this. It's organic raw blue agave nectar. And I like to use... Sorry, I turned you the wrong way. <laughs> I like to use that in like oatmeal, um, what else, smoothies sometimes, in replace of like Splenda or sugar, which I don't really use, um, because it is a lot better for you, it doesn't run up your blood sugar like white sugar does, and it's not a chemical like Splenda, <sighs> and it actually has health benefits. So, it's two points for one tablespoon, but one tablespoon of this goes like 20 million miles. It is very sweet, very potent, so you don't need a lot. I also got a little bit of this. I know, it looks like baby poop. What it actually is, is almond butter, fresh almond butter. It's just almonds ground, and I love that. And then some of the peanut. And I'm just going to use, like, you know, a little bit, probably on a banana or whatever, because um, that's what I love to do. And it's the same amount of points as a regular peanut butter, but it doesn't have any added sugar, and yeah, it's got some fat in it. Like, you know, 16 grams as a... Well, yeah, it's about the same. Um, I got a bunch of Cliff Bars because they were on sale. My son eats one every morning for his little breakfast snack at school. Um, but just in case anyone was wondering, this one, Maple Nut, is four points. The Black Cherry Almond flavor is also four points, but the... Oatmeal Raisin Walnut is three points. So some of them are three, but most of them are four. They have 10 grams of protein, which is really good. Um, they have 18 carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, which is great, and 5 grams of fat. And if I can get this open, which you can't do that. Oh, fooey. The only thing I don't love about these is they are, they do have soy protein isolate in them, which, now that I think about it, I'm going to try to get him off of these. I don't want him having that. Um, it causes gas and bloating and hormone problems and you name it. So I'm going to try to get him off of those cliff bars and find something that does not have soy in them. Um, but for someone who doesn't mind soy, <laughs> I got the most delicious grapes I have ever eaten. They are musket grapes, M-U-S-C-A-T. 
and they're I can't describe them. You'd have to try one, and I can't shove it through the screen, or I would. They're so good. They're like sweet and slightly crisp, but not too crunchy, and they're not squishy, and they're not tart, and they're not bitter, and oh, they're just delicious. All right, so I got those. I got a couple of red Bartlett pears that now look horrible because of them being in the, rolled around in the bag and whatever, but when I got them, they were all nice and nice looking, but now they're like that, so we're probably going to have to eat those like tonight. A couple of those. Um, I haven't tried them, so I don't know how they are. I got a big, fat, huge, delicious looking um, pesticide-free sunburst tomato that was grown in Nashville, North Carolina. And if you could smell... <sighs> It just smells like you picked it fresh out of the garden. And I have to keep buying tomatoes because ours aren't growing yet. But they will. And I got this for my husband. It's coconut juice. This is the pulp. Yeah, this one has pulp in it. Um, he absolutely loves this stuff. This is unsweetened, but you can get it sweetened. So if you're going to buy it, watch your sugars there. Um, so really what it is is young coconut juice and young coconut pulp, period. But because it's juice, it is four points for this can. It's two points for half of it and four points for the whole can. But coconut juice is a natural um, rehydrator. So it's considered a sports drink because they use it, a lot of uh, athletes use it in replace of like Gatorade and stuff like that that's not good for you at all. Um, they'll use that. And then I got him this one. And this one is called One Active Coconut Water. And it's grape berry. And again, you have to count points for this. Um, this whole thing is four points because it has juice in it. And then, oh, I'm so excited to find this. This is new. So delicious that makes soy milk, soy yogurt, stuff like that, soy ice cream, um, also makes coconut milks. Now, They've had coconut milk for quite some time now, but what I'm excited about is, let's see if I can find it, that word right down there at the bottom, unsweetened. All the coconut milk up until now was sweetened, and it was like 90, 100 calories for a cup. It was like two or three points, and I'm kind of a cheapskate with my points. So this is one point per eight ounces. It's got five grams of fat, one carbohydrate, one gram of protein, and no fiber, 50 calories. The ingredients are organic cork. Let me try that again. Organic coconut milk, calcium phosphate, magnesium phosphate, carrageenan. Mm -hmm, carrageenan. I'm assuming that is. Guar gum, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin D2, uh, selenium methionine, <laughs> um, zinc oxide, folic acid, and vitamin B12. Very good. So I'm excited about that. Let's see. Oh, I got some honey. My husband likes to drink honey in his tea before church because it helps him with his voice because he's on the worship team. This is an organic wildflower amber honey. Very tasty. Um, two points for one tablespoon. So I don't usually use a lot of honey. Once in a while I'll put like a teaspoon or two in my tea just for kicks. Um, but that's about it. And then I got my son this. This is, um, it's called Mostly Maple granola and it's got nuts and it's sweetened with maple syrup. Maple syrup does not have the same effect on your blood sugar as sugar. So again, it's better for you. And a big huge bag of old-fashioned rolled oats. Oh look, my husband. <laughs> so I think that was all. Let me check in here because you know I don't want to lie to you or anything. Oh no, I got my son a bunch of his little um, lactose-free yogurts that he loves. Uh, I got some, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this or not. I don't drink juice just because I'm, like I said, cheapskate. Don't like to waste points on juice, but simply orange, orange juice. Very good. This one has calcium and vitamin D in it added to it, which I like to do because my son can't have milk. Um, this one is pulp free. They have a medium pulp and a heavy pulp. Very tasty. It's not from concentrate, which is good. And... So that was it for my little um, Whole Foods haul today. So I will talk to you guys soon, and I'll see you again in two days for weigh-in. I hope you're having a good week. Thank you.